Hey guys, it's Krugly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Phoenix AOSP Extended ROM for the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T so stay tuned for that. So guys, now I have recently reviewed the AOSP extended ROM and uh, what do you know, after a few hours the Phoenix AOSP extended ROM was released which is strangely enough another official version maintained by the same guy who got us the camera module from OxygenOS into CEM space so that is a really interesting feature and uh, well this one does have a little bit more stuff uh, regarding it there are differences here and there which are pretty significant so i really do like that let's get started on the rom then first of all uh in the about phone page you can see that aex which stands for uh aosp extended you do have aex uh, updater which is going to get you an update so that does work out in the about or support page you can see these are all the about ui so this is an aosp based rom which provides a lot of uh features and uh, the features are really really a lot so i will be getting into the review uh stuff there it is android 7.1.1 .1, which is the latest one for our device uh you can see it is by this guy who is a developer security patches is the latest one which is march 7 march 5 2017 so that is the latest and greatest so you do have that the kernel is uh a specified eas based kernel so that is another thing now the last rom which i uh reviewed the vertex rom also has eas kernel and that actually blew the socks out of me uh because it was a really great kernel for battle life and performance so i really like that so i'm hoping this is going to go in the same way so that's really cool so that is it in the about phone page now as i've already said the feature list is really really a lot so if you want to see most of all the other features which i've already mentioned in the other rom review you can go check that out because that does enumerate most of the features which already is available in this rom so just as a gesture so these are all the options available in the status bar items you do have that vult icon as you can see is something which i'm really proud of and i really appreciate that because so that is something which i really do like it is much better than just having the hd on the status bar and uh, it's really really clean so I like that so yeah in the miscellaneous uh, extension there is something else you can see there is a 34 and a sun icon there which is basically the weather so it is going to be sunny and 34 degrees delicious and that is hot and that can be shown in the uh, status bar I'm sure this is not the first implementation of it but I really like the uh, image with temperature without scale you can also go for image with temperature with scale all that is available and you do have a lot of options there rest everything is basically what you would expect so there is all of these features uh, quick setting tiles can be uh, customized there is option to change the number of columns number of row but there's only seven number of columns which is the maximum which um well okay it's good for me but uh, not really great for most people and also the small quick setting tiles is not uh, customizable it can be made scrollable which is pretty cool navigation options are available recent ui can be customized it does have slim recent and the normal aosp recent menu and in the just system options there is uh, general tweaks in which there is also something called suspend action which is a really great feature i have talked about it in the aosp extended rom review uh this used to be there in uh previous versions mainly kitkat and lollipop if I'm not mistaken and uh, that is a great way to save battery when the screen is off you do have uh, options to enable that and switch to 2G when the screen is off or disable mobile data altogether if the screen is off all those options are available if you want to conserve battery more so yeah so apart from that screenshot type can be customized disable FC notification toast icon is there uh, blur customization is available uh, animations are available all of that is available button customization is also available which is pretty cool but there is no keyboard cursor control and stuff like that so yeah features department let's get started with the grading in the features department well it is a great full featured rom there is a lot of features but it's not enough to match something like resurrection remix which in my opinion is the king of feature rich rom so yeah first score of the day features i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. the next criteria is battery life and uh, battery life for me has been a mixed bag but the standby battery life is still amazing as I expected with EAS kernel but I didn't really expect it to be this good 
with all of these features enabled so that is really really amazing i really like the bat life in this one uh but it's not as good as uh, uh the vertex rom which with had a good uh standby life and a pretty decent screen on time the screen on time on this one was about four hours and um, four hours and a few minutes so the battery life in a uh, screen on time not very good but overall package it's a pretty good deal so i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten now the performance uh and to benchmark is what I go for in the performance department. So I got about 146,500, which is a respectable score, higher than what I got with the Vertex, higher than what I normally get with Lineage OS, uh, but not the highest score which I received. I have received scores of up to 164,000 with some ROMs. So yeah, not the best score, but it is still a very good score. So I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Now the stability. This being an AOSP ROM, there aren't many things which can go wrong, but also this being a feature rich ROM, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. But for the most part, it holds on its own. Calls work, everything works, all the apps work. For most part, Facebook calls does work out. And that is something which is a first for me uh, in any USB or custom ROM. So Facebook call works. Uh, ISCDC app does not work yet and one other thing which I noticed is in the power amp when you start it up you can see there is a detector problem with ape native dial libraries which is not something which I find in many ROMs but still 8 out of 10. Now the camera quality. The stock camera with which it comes is the oxygen camera so that is a really great feature. I mean the developer is the one who brought this camera on to custom ROM scene so yeah that was a no brainer but the, it does take pretty decent photographs and I really do like that still may not be as good as oxygen OS. You can see the sharpness is a little bit off and all that stuff uh, in the background, but it does take a better photograph than most other ROMs, which is a really good feature. Now, here is a picture of my cat. Uh, if you zoom in here, you can see all the hair is lumped up together. So you can see that is the problem with the sharpness and post-processing stuff. Now, HAL1 is enabled, so you do get that. So yeah, I think that should be uh, it about the camera. I would give it an 8 out of 10 because it does take a lot of photos. I didn't have any issues with taking photos every time I click the button it did take a photo double tap to power button is available and I really like it now the unique features again once again this ROM doesn't really have anything unique about it it just is an amalgamation of a lot of softwares a lot of features into an AOSP package which is pretty cool now the aesthetics as you have probably seen already the aesthetics is just the normal material design you can see the pixel design is available even the boot animation is borrowed directly from pixel nothing special here but that shouldn't be much of a surprise or much of a letdown because i i don't mind the pixel ui it says that i would like to have a better uh, ui out of the box than this one because i'm tired of this but there is substratum support and that is full oms support so that is really cool you can customize that so in the aesthetic department i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 which is normal now comes the overall experience so what is with the overall experience with this rom i didn't have a lot of issues i didn't really have much issues the normal aosp based issues like i asked uh, connect app that didn't work out but fp calls did work out i really like it the main problem i had with this is with the signal so you can see i'm getting a little bit of signal here on both sim cards but sometimes when i move around it just bounces all over the place at places where i could have gotten full signal i didn't really get a full signal uh there were issues with that uh, sometimes i would never get the vlte enabled i wouldn't get lte enabled and the speeds were really low because of the range issue so that i think that has to do with the real data uh compilation in this rom because on the other roms i didn't have much issues with that so that is the only problem i have with the experience of this Apart from that, everything works really well, but well, a phone with a problem with the uh, SIM reception is not a very good thing. So yeah, score of 6.5 out of 10. So yeah. So that is it in the uh, ROM review, I guess. Uh, the boot animation, I'm not going to show you guys again. It is a pixel boot animation, did a copy, nothing special. So that is it. In conclusion, what is this ROM? 
It is an AUSB based ROM extended with a lot of features and this is an unofficial official kind of a thing uh, made by a different developer with ES kernel as I've already said ES kernel does make a lot of difference in performance and battery life which is really cool it is still there and uh, the battery life is pretty good for what it is it is a feature rich ROM with a decent battery life in both screen on time and a really good battery life in standby time which is really really amazing I do really like that conversion is a great package and I wouldn't mind recommending this ROM to anyone else uh, because it is such a good ROM so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM then hope you guys like the video please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye